Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video, this time taking a look at some more weapon builds for the 12.9 patch. A lot of things have changed in terms of builds in the most recent wipe, many attachments were completely changed, base stats were altered, and overall almost none of the best in slot or budget builds are the same as they were just a few weeks before making this video. In this one, I'm going to take a look at a few mid-game AK builds that I've been using while questing and hunting for loot as I make my way up to level 40 and unlock max level traders. I've got similar builds coming for the M4 a1, but for this video, we'll be focusing on the AK. These builds will work with pretty much any type of AK, though with slight tweaks for each different model. I'm going to try and cover the changes that you'll need to make for each series of AK, but if I miss something, let me know down in the comments. I've got two different sets of builds for this video, one that uses level 2 traders and one that uses level 3 traders, so these should have you covered for the mid game from level 15 to level 30 plus. So with that intro out of the way, let's get into the builds and take a look at the simple suppressed AK builds that carried me through from level 15 to 30. These first builds I have for you are fairly simple, but also pretty versatile and don't require high level traders or a ton of expensive parts. The AK rifles have a bunch of cheap attachments to improve their base stats at level 2 traders, and using these is a good way to build guns on a reasonable budget that will work just fine for taking down scavs and other players. With the 12.9 patch, suppressors got a pretty huge recoil buff across the board, meaning that for the first time we can actually make a suppressed AK build with reasonable recoil stats, and as a mostly solo player, I have been really liking the suppressed AK for questing runs, especially the 762. For these builds I have two different setups, one for the AK-74 an AK-100 series, and one for the AKM and its derivatives, which is where we'll start. First up, starting from the muzzle, we have the Hexagon DTKP Suppressor, which is the top tier option for the 7.62 AKs, and it's reasonably priced on the flea market at around 30,000 rubles. To get this onto the AKM, you'll need the TT AKM adapter for the muzzle, but this suppressor slots right onto the AK-103 with no adapter needed. If you don't want to spend the money on the suppressor, you can also opt for the DTK-1 compensator at Skier Level 2, which has similar recoil stats, but is only 5,000 rubles as opposed to 30k. The handguard on this setup is the CAA RS-47 handguard, easily the best budget early game handguard for the AK which has 4 rails for attachments. For the grip, if you have Peacekeeper level 3 you can get the Viking Tactical Grip for a cheap price, but if you only have level 2 traders, you'll need to use the Tango Down Grip which is just slightly worse. I've also got the X400 flashlight on my builds, but you can swap this for whatever you prefer. Next up, for the sight you have a ton of options, but for the AKM, my my preferred setup is to use the TT-01 sight adapter or the rail on the handguard to mount a P1X-42 sight which I get off the flea market. You can also use the Bastion dust cover from Skier Level 2 to mount a sight, or use the Dovetail Cobra sight from Proper Level 1 if your AK has a dovetail mount. The pistol grip on this build is the PP-19 pistol grip from Proper Level 2, which has improved ergonomic stats for under 1000 rubles. The stock I've also replaced with the Black Polymer AK stock at Proper Level 1, which gives slightly better stats for only only around 2,000 rubles. The final part that I have for this build is the GP25 recoil pad from Proper Level 2, which is a must-have for any budget AK build once you unlock it. To set this build up on an AK-74M or AK-74N, it's pretty much all the exact same parts except for the sight and the suppressor. The suppressor for this build on the AK-74M is the Hexagon AK-74 suppressor, which is about 30,000 on the flea market. You can also use the PBS-1 or the TGP-A suppressor as well, since they have about the same stats but the hexagon has better ergonomics. For the sight, you can use the same setup as the AKM build, but personally I've been liking the Cobra Dovetail sight with the Cobra Sight Shade. This is a very cheap combination, and when you use the shade you gain some ergonomics back. For overall stats, you're looking at around 74 to 76 recoil for the AK-74 series, and about 89 to 97 recoil for the AK-103 and AKM respectively. The ergonomics ranges from around 40 with the suppressor to around 60 if you use the compensator instead. For the overall price, I'm just going to use the total cost of all the additional parts on the build, since the cost for the base rifle varies a lot depending on which model of AK you use, and whether you buy it or find it on a scav or other player. You're looking at around 80,000 rubles in parts for the suppressed version of these builds, or about 55,000 rubles for the loud version. They might not be the most exciting or fancy setups, but these work well for the price you pay, and I've had a lot of success, particularly with the AKM and AK-103 versions. Thank you. 
Next up for this video, I have what I would consider the best AKs you can build once you hit level 30 and unlock level 3 traders across the board, including Mechanic, Peacekeeper, and Skier. The level 2 trader builds might not have changed too much in this patch, but the higher end AK builds look very different in the 12.9 patch. The newer model rifles like the AK-74M and AK-103 are finally the best in slot options instead of the older models always being the best choice. For these builds, I'm going to start off with the AK-103 and AK-74M and then show you how to set up the same build on the older AKM and AK-74N. It's pretty much all the exact same parts, even between the 545 and 762 AKs, but you'll need a few adapters to get the parts onto the older models. Starting with the AK-103, the muzzle device I'm using is the JMAC RRD 4C Compensator, which is now the best in-slot muzzle device across all the AKs in the game as far as I can tell, and is a pretty reasonable 10,000 rubles at mechanic level 3. Next up, the handguard here is the X-47 AK handguard, which is one of my favorites because of the combination of good stats, pre-attached rails, and the sight mount which extends back over the dust cover and is a really nice feature. The grip on here is the Magpul RVG foregrip that you can use pretty much any of the grips at Peacekeeper level 3 or the RK0 or RK5 from Skier level 3 and you'll get roughly the same results. I also have the X400 flashlight on here as usual, though you can swap this out for whatever you prefer in its place. For the sight on this build, I've been using the Cobra Reflex Sight paired with the Cobra Sight Shade, because this setup actually gains you points of ergonomics where most sights have negative ergo. It's a small bonus, but it's also quite cheap and I've been really liking it. You can swap the sight out for whatever you prefer, but I've been liking this a lot in the 12.9 patch. The pistol grip here is the RK3, which is great for extra ergonomics, but can be swapped out for something cheaper if you aren't too worried about the ergo. Finally, we come to the stock on this rifle, which is where things have changed quite a lot in the 12.9 patch. Previously, the older model AK with the fixed stock was just unchallenged as the best low recoil build, but in 12.9, the base stats for the newer AKs like the 74M and 103 have been improved to the point where they finally beat out the older AKs with the right attachments. On this build, I went with the RPK-16 buffer tube for Mechanic Level 3, which has a base recoil buff and allows you to attach M4 style stocks to the AK. For this build, I've been using the MOE carbine stock with its rubber butt pad attachment, which gives you one of the best combinations of good recoil and high ergonomics in the game at this point. You can also swap this for the PT lock and the PT3 Classica stock, which gives you roughly the same stats, though also for slightly more rubles. Finally, the last part on this build is the RP1 charging handle, which gives you a slight ergonomics boost for only 2,000 rubles. That pretty much covers this build for the AK-74M and AK-103, which both will use the exact same build with the exact same parts. If you want to put this onto an AKM or AK-74N, however, first you'll need the TT AKM adapter to get the muzzle device attached. Next, you need two parts to make the same stock setup work, starting with the ME adapter for the AK at skier level 3, and then the HK enhanced buffer tube at mechanic level 3. Once you get those two parts, everything else should be identical for the build. When it's all put together, you're looking at around 64 to 68 recoil on the AK-74 rifles, and about 77 to 83 recoil on the AK-103 and AKM respectively. The ergonomics is sitting at around 64 on the older AKs, with the 74M and 103 getting around 74 ergonomics total. As for the total parts cost, you're looking at around 80 to 90,000 rubles total in attachments, with the base price of the rifle varying depending on what you build this with. All things considered, I've really enjoyed this AK build since hitting level 30, and the higher ergonomics of the 74M and AK-103 are particularly nice with the very snappy aim down sight time when you're using this setup. Well that about covers it for these AK builds. I still haven't unlocked the parts to make the new top tier meta builds yet, but I'm working my way up the levels and as soon as I hit 40 I'll be updating all my meta builds for the 12.9 patch as well. Hopefully these builds work out well for you and let me know down in the comments if you found any attachments that I missed which might work well for mid game AK builds like these. I've got a similar video to this covering mid game M4A1 and HK builds in the works right now as well and I'll be covering the MCX and Vector modding soon on the channel too, so stay tuned for those if that interests you at all. Thanks for checking out the video, I've got links to my Twitch stream, Discord server, and Patreon page down below for anyone interested, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City.